Hey guys, this is Austin73k from Hack Forums with Fractured Hacker, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get free unlimited hosting. Now you can have any domain name you want. Um, I'm choosing cu.cc, and I have openfiles.cu.cc. Uh, it's already being hosted, and by the hosting that I'm going to show you, but you want to go ahead and click manage, and make sure this can be an existing one as well. Uh, make sure everything is deactivated. Um, and then go over to name server and put in these two servers ns1.cpanelserve.net and ns2 so we're going to go over to cpanelserve.net sorry I totally fucked that up cpanelserve.net and I apologize it is in Spanish but um, I'm sure you'll forgive me because it's free unlimited hosting go ahead and click register now and click use own um, use the uh, openfiles.cu.cc or whatever uh, your domain is .cu.cc and click hire I already have this registered uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in alright as well as my gmail Alright, this one right here. Um, so this is the email that it sent me. And so it will give you your uh, username as well as your password. Now this is just a random string, obviously. And I already had changed it, so go ahead and click translate on this, by the way. Um, and you're going to go to all services. And then click on this little box over here by the um, one that you want to use. So since I'm using openfiles.cu.cc, uh, that's the one I'm going to click on. So I went ahead and clicked on it. Go, uh, click translate one more time, um, and this will have all of your information. So this is where I got the name servers from. So I'm not just pulling that out of my ass. Like these are the actual name servers. If yours are different, then go ahead and put those in there. Um, but I'm pretty sure that these are the only two. And we're gonna go over to cPanel. It also gives you a direct link. So it's uh, like an IP address. Like it looks like it's from somebody's house or something. I know it's not, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so the password, I have already changed mine. I believe that's correct. Okay, perfect. And there we go. I'm in. It will probably be in Spanish your first time. Just go ahead and click translate. Um, like it says, like, you know, No estoy bien, gracias, or whatever it says. I don't remember. I, yeah, that's what it says. Um, anyway, over here you can see everything is unlimited. Disk space, uh, bandwidth, email accounts every type of domain, uh, FTP accounts, um, databases, which is awesome, uh, and it's just perfect, just perfect. So, uh, you can see I have 0.32 megabytes, which is 320 kilobytes, I think, I don't remember, something like that. But if we go into File Manager, uh, make sure you have Web Root selected. Um, I only have one file in here, and that's uh, index.php. In this, I can actually delete. Um, so yeah. Now I don't know if you guys like this file manager at all. Um, I actually do because it has a code editor as well as an HTML editor. So it's the code editor is actually um, it works with CSS, PHP, all that. It will actually identify the code. Um, so all the, all it says right now is this. It does absolutely nothing. But uh, yeah. So anyway. Um, if you don't like this code editor and you want to use your own, such as Dreamweaver, etc., um, then we are going to learn how to um, set that up. So uh, I'm going to go over to FileZilla. Everything will be the same here. Um, and we're going to go to cPanel X, or yeah, and go to FTP accounts. Um, you can actually have another uh, login. So what I was going to do is have, let's say, like. Um, admin dash fh for fractured hacker or um, austin 73k or something to that effect uh, sorry let me go and refresh and um, let's say you can have you know 30 people that are using your site regularly and you want three one for every 10 people you want three people in total including yourself that are um, administrators so you have your original uh, username, which you can obviously change in this uh, right here. Just go over to cPanel as well as your password. 
Um, anyway, so you can have these FTP accounts, and let's say when they log into those FTP accounts, they have like a C100 shell, um, which basically allows you to control the site, so they can upload and, and change the databases and stuff like that. Um, actually, I don't know if you can change the database on that, but um, they have control over the site as well. Um, although, I don't know, you don't really need three out of 30 people for that. You can do that yourself, or probably once you get to a few thousand, then you might need other people. But anyway, so, you know, you can just have, like, something like that. That's just an idea that I thought of. You don't really need it. But anyway, so I'm going to go down to my username. Don't do the logs. It's pointless. Click the FTP configuration file. Um, so that's all you need. So I'm going to go over to File, Import, and I'm going to scroll down to this right here. Yes. Okay, so the selected categories have been imported. Uh, we're going to go to File, Site Manager, and there it is, ftp.openfiles.cu.cc. Now you can see the host is ftp.openfiles.cu.cc, um, and the user is this right here. Now, I actually kind of like this. When you click Connect, it will ask you for your password, and that is the same as your... Um, C panel password so you can see that mine is correct but let's see uh, another way you can say uh, normal and put um, your password there and that should work just as well so um, I also I'm not sure um, if you need this right here let's go and test that Just hit control X Yeah, so you don't even need that. Um, so once you have Dreamweaver, let's go ahead and uh, open up Dreamweaver CS6 here. All right, so I pause the video and I set this all up. Your server name is going to be ftp.yourcu.cc, um, and the FTP address is the same thing. Obviously, port 21, that's the FTP port. Your username is your same username, and your password is the same password. So go ahead and click Test, and uh, it should connect successfully. Um, for the root directory, put slash public underscore HTML forward slash, and then click over here. It doesn't matter where, just, just click inside this box, um, and it should say um, slash public underscore uh, HTML. Shit, sorry, I'm typing with one hand here. Um, so it should look like this. Just make sure you go ahead and delete all that. So that's what it should look like. And I believe that's correct, so let's go ahead and click save. Um... Also, you want um, just somewhere to save all the files. So I'm going to go and click Save. Uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and open this up. So under Construction, and then under here, I'll just put um, tilde um, Austin 73K. So I'll save that. Control Shift U um, will put it online if it's configured correctly. So let's see. Um, yeah, I don't care. Alright, so now to test if we did it correctly, uh, we should be able to go to um, openfiles.cu.cc. Perfect, we get Austin 73K. So we know that it is configured to Dreamweaver um, successfully, and I forgot that since it's in the code, um, we actually need to um, type BR um, or I'm going to go and use HR. I like that one better. There we go. So um, now you can see that uh, that's what it looks like. So there we go. That's your unlimited free hosting. Um, absolutely free, absolutely legal. No referrals, so I'm not getting anything out of this. I just wanted to help you guys out. Um, and go ahead and look forward to openfiles.cu.cc. It will be in the future. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this. It's 11.07. We're at school in the morning. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And so thanks, guys, for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like this. Thumbs up. And um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya.